much. So powerful. Hallelujah. So bountiful. I thought we was in February. Amen. But I thought it was, I said, well, is it you, Sunday? What's going on? But I give God glory for who he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God has been doing great things in your life already. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the best is still yet to come. Hallelujah. Some of us got a mighty rushing wind. Some of us got a little breath. But nevertheless, God is still moving. And we give him glory for that on today. Hallelujah. You know, I'm just reminded of every word that's been coming forth. You know, we that we're moving forward. Amen. And we're making room for God. Hallelujah. And even the teaching about salvation and denying ourselves. Glory to God. And then Bishop came yesterday in the midst of a home going service and began to preach on forgiveness. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I said, well, God, and then I heard one word this morning, that same word came back, forgiveness. Oh, Hallelujah. And I said, well, God, is that what it is for today? Because I'm telling you, I had nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. But I had God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When we have God. Yes. And, and we already know that God is doing things in a different way. Yes. But he's still God. Yes. And we're going to let him have his way. Thank you, Lord God. Tried to type up some scripture and I lost them. I said, oh my God. But God. She said, well, do you remember what it was? I said, yeah, yeah, but now I, I gave it to you back and God just showed it to me. I said, well, how are we going to do this? He said, bottoms up. So bottoms up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we ain't going to be drunk in the natural. We might get drunk in the spirit. Amen. But we ain't trying to be drunk in the natural. So bottoms up this morning. Amen. We're going to do it the way he want to do it. Amen. Bottoms up. We're going to get to this forgiveness. Amen. But we're going bottoms up. Somebody need to be drunk in forgiveness today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We just going to go with whatever he say. Whatever I hear in my spirit, we just going to speak it in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. But the first scripture coming from John, the 15th chapter, the 12th verse, it says, this is my commandment. This is Jesus talking in the book of John. You ain't got to turn because I'm going to move on. Amen. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Now God has an agape love. He sent his only begotten son that if we just choose to believe on him, you got to do it for your own self. The Bible declares that if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ hung, bled, and died your sins and mine, but yet he rose on the third day, and he got up with all power in his hand, that thou shalt be saved. I know I'm going to some more in there, but that's some more scripture. Amen. Praise God. But all you got to do is believe it. You got to confess it with your mouth. Yes, he did it. And I believe it in my heart. And if we believe it in our heart, then we, at that point we should begin to take on the heart of Jesus. Amen. And God is an unconditional loving God. An unconditional forgiving God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That is a condition. He said, if you want him to forgive you, you need to forgive your brothers and sisters. Amen. Ain't no need to coming up to this altar and you ain't forgave somebody. That's why ain't nothing happening for you. That's why you can't get nowhere. Hallelujah. You got to forgive if you want him to forgive. It's some things that's caught in the club of the rock that God has stored up for us.
glory. He said, let all bitterness and wrath and anger. The Bible said, be ye angry, but sin not. But we are hold on to it. Because, yes, what they did, it hurt. It didn't feel good. And can I help somebody? Forgiveness ain't a natural thing. You got to have the spirit of God in order to forgive. It ain't natural because ain't nothing about you that want to forgive somebody that hurt you.
if you don't get with the one, then that's your problem. It ain't ours. That's right. That's right. Make yourself available to God. And if you're available for God, then that means you're available for us. Every time I turn around and call on you, we don't, you ain't there. And then you say, well, I just want to feel a part. You don't want to feel a part because if you want to be a part and feel a part, then you'll get with the part. It's a whole lot of stuff that go on behind the scene that you don't want to be a part of that. But when the scene get ready to pop up, Don't try to come on their behalf. You y'all come together. 
about to get there. This last scripture. Romans 12, 17 through 21. Recompense to no man, evil for evil. Provide things honest yes. out his life. The Bible declares that a liar won't even tarry in his sight. That's right, God. That's the word. We got some of the lionest folks in the house of God. Yes, I'm going to call you a liar. A liar is what it is, a liar. That's right. That's right. Ain't sure ain't. Ain't got no color on it. It's just a bald-faced lie, and it will keep you from getting in. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Stop telling lies. If you're going to do something, do it. If you ain't, don't say nothing. If you don't know, don't say nothing. Because now you classified yourself. No, you just lied. You ain't calling and say, well, I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. You lied. Same thing if I tell you I'm coming to pick you up, then I don't never show up, don't never say nothing. You classify me as a liar. When I tell you next time, you ain't going to pay me no attention. That's right. That's right. That's why I don't pay some people no attention, because I know you tell lies. Amen. I still love you, but I know you tell lies. Great God. Amen. Secrets out. Now you wonder why I'm paying no attention because you're a liar. Amen. 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 If God don't want you around here, what makes you think I want you around me? I'm trying to get where He is. If yeah, He don't want you, I'm trying. Don't be around me. Because if He come for me, you standing right there knowing you a liar. Uh -uh, I'm trying to go. <laughs> you killed me by association. You must have been a liar. Can we just be real? Yeah. Tell the truth. Yeah. It's in the sight of all men. Stop telling lies. Mother, am I saying anything wrong? No. Nope. Amen. <laughs> Don't tell lies to just lie. For no reason. That's right. Ask your own self why you say it. Just hush sometimes. Right. Mm. Jesus. Why lie when the truth will do? That's, that's right. Before I tell you a lie, I just ain't going to say nothing. If your food ain't good, I ain't finna say nothing. <laughs> you ain't gotta ask yourself. <laughs> and if you keep on pressing me, I'm gonna get rid of some line. That's something else right there. Show me something else. I can't call it right now. <laughs> Trying to spell it. It says, if it be possible, as much as lie, it lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Let me help you with forgiveness. You can forgive somebody. And you can live peaceably right here in the house of God. But that don't mean I got to roll up over your house. I ain't got to make a point to you that I forgave you. We ain't got to hang out every day for me to say I forgave you. We ain't got to talk on the phone every day. If we won't do it in the phone now, we ain't got to start. Amen? But if we were, then we need to figure out where the gap was, where the bridge is. And sometimes we just grew apart. And it ain't that there's nothing wrong with it. We just going on our different way. I'm going on with Jesus. If you lag behind, that's your problem. It ain't mine. Don't get mad. I ain't got no special peace. I ain't got no special peace. You got to go home. They used to tell me, we know the men don't say nothing when, when people come in. Well, the women don't say nothing when the people come in. The men act up when bitches get somebody new. They act up. We don't say nothing, but we be heard. I said, bless y'all little hearts. <laughs> you ain't got to be heard. But don't you know when you had a closeness with somebody and you walk with them and then somebody else come, it, it ain't to push you away. That's right. It ain't to push you away. You've been built. You can walk. I don't know how little feeling I heard so many times. Bless a little heart. Well, I called a baby girl one day. She said, That's what made me feel so good. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what the world wrong with her? And she confessed that to me. She said, People were coming in, I want to see them. They hurt me so bad. I said, Bless you, little heart. But God continued to bless her. Even in the midst of it. You've been built. And I tell her, Baby, you got to build somebody. I can't build everybody. I'm going to do what I can, but guess what? Now you at a place when I get up to a certain degree, they going to you. And when she done with that one, they build, it keep each one teach one. I can't do everything. Bishop can't do everything. The youth pastors can't do everything. Elder can't do everything. We're supposed to be working together. Love one another. That's why he said that. We got to love one another. And if I love you, I don't want to see you 
You don't know my struggle, but I thank God and I give him glory. I'm here for you. I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be here for you. Do what I can. But when I tell you, call you pastor, call you pastor. Yes. If I tell you, call minister, call minister. If I tell you, call elder, call elder. Ladies, 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 trust and believe I ain't ever jealous. But you can't keep calling bishop about everything. Call these women of God. They strong enough to handle you. Yes. That's right. Jesus. That's right. Yes. And I know some of us, we want a father figure. We want to hear that. We need to hear that. We got to hear that. But I'm telling you, women, women be a women. Men be a men. Because too many women trying to be a men, and that's why you get these little sugar babies coming from. Come they don't know whether to twitch or buff up. You can tell mama boys they got that little flip in their wrist. I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil. Make that cat get out there and work and set a man out of work by the sweat of his brow. That's the word of God. Little son of himself sitting around, mama. Get you a backbone. Learn how to walk a country mile. In the snow if you have to. Man up.
Get our own emotions out the way. Yes. If somebody come with you, ask them for forgiveness, forgive them. That's right. Now, if they falsify me, that's their problem. That's right. You receive it. That's right. Say, God, now you know they won't write but praise God. I forgive them. Because you know you did something. Yeah. People need to get the if. If it was that fifth, we'd all be drunk. <laughs> Amen. But we're trying to go somewhere in God. Right. Be sober minded. Be vigilant. Vigilant. You know what I'm talking about. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed. That's true forgiveness. Right. I don't care what you've done. You're hungry? Come on. Right. If he thirsts, give him a drink. That's right. I don't care. I know you're talking. Can't take this cup of water. I'll give you my ginger ale if I have to. You know, whatever it takes. I want you to be made whole. For in doing so, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Do not overcome evil. Of evil. Do not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. If you want to make it right, uh, do good. Yes. Do right. Yes. Do right. I can't help what they do. You do right. Because at the end of the day, the Bible declares that every man is going to give an account for his own deeds. You're going to have to give an account. And I'm telling you, I, I talked with Bishop about it last night, so I can go on and say it. Now, I said, I said, babe, I had to go and ask God to help me get with you. Because when he said it wasn't about how we live, it's how we lead. And I, the Lord quickly took me to Revelation 22 and 12. And I said, oh, I got it. Now I threw the little phone down. I said, oh, we're ready now. I'm with my man of God. Praise God. But see, I'm going to be with him regardless. But I need to have a piece if I'm with him. Amen. Amen. So I needed to know what, how, what is this thing about not being right. if I don't if it doesn't matter how I live and how I leave. Because whatever state you in when he comes, if you're in a state of unforgiveness, you can't go. Right. You could have came to church every Sunday. That's right. You can say hallelujah, Lord, Lord, and all you can be casting out demons. You could have been laying hands on the sick and they've been recovering. But if you leave here and you got unforgiveness in your heart, you will not make it in. You ain't gonna make it in. No, we don't know the day nor the hour when he's gonna appear. No. But you need to be ready. So that means every day I gotta live like it's my last. I gotta forgive the day like the Lord coming back. I gotta love the day like the Lord is on his way back. I gotta give the day like the Lord is on his way back. That's right. But we get so wrapped up in our own self. You gonna forgive me. You can't make me. And I can't make you. If I want to die and go to hell, then that's what I'll do. And some people will sit right here in the house of God, and that's what they'll do. <laughs> but not on my watch, you won't go. And the Lord say to me, why you didn't tell them? I'm telling you today. You better forgive. Bottoms up. Turn that thing upside down. You better be free. You better be whole. In Jesus' name, you got to love like Christ love. If you got to forgive you ain't loving me, right? That's right. I used to be bad about holding on to stuff with bitch. And I put it on my womanhood. Because I hold on to it. It's hard for me to let it go. But if you do something to remind me, and God showed me this morning, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing me right now. <laughs> if it's doing something to remind me, then you ain't really forgave me. Jesus. That's right. Well, that's right. That's right. You can't say amen and say I. So you can say, I forgave him, and I'm just let it go. But as soon as they do that one thing, see if you let it go, the very thing that took you there the first time, you, it's a new one. Huh? What's true forgiveness? True forgiveness. Help us. Let me tell you. True forgiveness is a heartfelt more than words. It is the intentional realization of the fact that this is wrong. And it's wrong for me to attach everything that you did last year 
with what you just did last night. Yes. Yes. And I say I'm saved. I say I'm sanctified. I say I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. But everything about what you did just then brought back everything. And I'm going to tell you, let me help you for my own sake. Can I show you me? I not only get what he did last year, I get what I got from the last relationship and I bring all that. And now it's going down. That's right. That ain't the love of Christ. That's not true forgiveness. So you got to go back through some generations. You got to go back through some relationships. You got to go back through some past hurts. You got to go back through some past pain and say, what's causing me, God? To get, to not get what everything you have for me, what's causing me? What hurt me so bad that I'm so afraid to admit that all of it will resurface? Because I'm telling you, once you admit it, all of it comes flooding in. That's right. That's right. I've already put myself on the altar. When that stuff comes flooding in, oh my God, I was holding in this, and I was holding in that, and I was holding in that, and I was holding in that. And if I ever let go of the root cause of it, then I can be free from all of it. That's it, the root cause. Come on. Come on. But we don't recognize the root cause we want to deal with right now. I want to be free and be free in peace. Hallelujah. I want you to be free indeed. I'm telling you, you know it's wrong, but when forgiveness is asked from the heart, one's heart becomes pure. Yes. And the chances of that mistake or that sin to happen again becomes null and void. Yes. See, he can't come and say, Shorty, I'm sorry about the same thing every day. That's right. Because if he was true about it, See, this thing go two ways. See, sometimes we say something we meant to say stuff. And that's why we got the guts to say it again. And have the audacity to want somebody to forgive you again. If you want true in yours, how can I be true in mine? True begin truth. Let's help that right there. Amen. People try to talk and talk. Well, he True forgiveness. It goes both ways. Amen. I remember what hurt. Yeah. You remember what you did to hurt. Yeah. And same vice versa. I remember what I did to hurt you. Because I'm telling you, if I did something to hurt you, I meant to do it. But I had to say, Lord, please forgive me. That's right. Don't let me act like that. And I wonder why I would do it. And he said, why you, why you take so long to say you're sorry? I said, because if I said it, I meant to say it. Yeah. Yeah. But it took me so long to stand up for my own self. I would just take stuff and take stuff that when I blew, I meant to blow. And I wanted to hurt them the way that I was hurt. But that was my root cause. That was the sole source of why I act the way I act to people when they hurt me. Because of hurt many years ago. People do things and say things. And, and it's going on right now. People have done things and said things. And it hit the very core of us. And we pushed it under the rug. Just because you put it in your subconscious or you submerged it, you never forgave it. You never released yourself of it. And see, today I'm free in my own self. Because I said, God, why I got so much attitude when it comes to hurt? Why do I get mad instantaneously when it comes to people being offensive towards me? How can I do that and be a woman of God that you're calling me to be? How can I be that way and be somebody's pastor? You give out what everything that's in you. I said, God, if I'm a hindrance to the people, help me deliver me from all of my past hurts, from all of my past pains, because I don't want to live this way. I don't want to give this way. They can't be free until I can. And I want to be free right now. I want to be free right now. I want God to make me whole from the time I was three years old and had 
I want to be able to love her even if you hurt me. I can keep rolling on. I'm telling you, we will hold ourselves in the past for no reason. For no reason. The people don't know why they hurt you. They, and some of them still doing the same thing. Sometimes you were young. You didn't understand. I'm telling you, but God always saw. And that's why you're still living today. I got 
Move forward. 